you're an intern at 19, and, and, and I know some of the folks that, that tune into the show want to be where you are. They want to be an editor. They want to be a successful literary agent and book scout. Uh, they want to have the, the career that you've had. So how did you get involved at the age of 19 direct into publishing? What was your in? Um, so I just I applied for an internship when I was in college in New York and luckily got one at Folio, which is an agency in New York. Um, and while I was there, my mom lost her job and it was just the two of us. And I told my boss, like, I'm going to need to get another paying job. I can't I can't work here for free anymore. You know, I was devastated. I loved it so much. And he just said, oh, well, we'll, we'll hire you. Um, so I started off while I was in college as an assistant in the subrights department and still working with my boss um, editorially on his clients' projects. And by, I guess it was maybe the end of my junior year, uh, my boss said, well, you're a kid. Do you want to work on kids' books? <laughs> and I was like, sure. Um, so, you know, with, with supervision and, and with help from colleagues, I started representing clients and um, sold my first book the summer before my senior year of college and really never looked back. Um, so I got started very early, but I was, you know, really fortunate to have the opportunities that I had. Wow, that is amazing. What was the first book that you sold? <laughs> um, the first book, the first kids book that I sold was um, a picture book to Candlewick, to Karen Lots of Candlewick, the author is Lana Crumwitty, and it was called Just Itsy, about a spider uh, named Itsy who doesn't want to be called Itsy Bitsy anymore. He just wants to be called Itsy because he is a big spider going off to spend your garden. Um, and it was, it was really cute. <laughs> but, Horrible. Did it strike you at the time that uh, I haven't even finished college yet? This is a really big thing that has happened that I've done, or was it yeah. not phase you? Um, no, it was weird. It was very much like a double life. I'm like dating myself by saying it was like a very Hannah Montana kind of thing to do. It's like now everyone knows that I'm 30. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, I, I didn't tell editors that I was still in school, so I would take the train in from school to go to lunch with editors and just like try to pretend to be more grown up than I was. Um, it worked out, I guess. Well, that sounds like uh, that's, that's lots of advice we could flush out a little bit for uh, young, uh, eager people that want to get to where you were. What, uh, what things did you do to, to be older and to ingratiate yourself with, um, with the right people? I mean, there's a lot of fake it till you make it, for sure. Um, my boss told me to get a watch, that it would make me look older. Um, so I did get a watch. Um, I, I got my first iPhone for, for this job, that job. 